What is up guys and welcome back to another video. So finally, after months of waiting, Fortnite Chapter 3 has finally been released. With a whole new map, a new loot pool, tons of new mechanics, and more, there's obviously quite a bit to learn. So in today's video, what I'll be doing is giving you guys some of my best tips to improve and get ahead of the pack in Chapter 3. These are going to include all sorts of practice tips, ways to learn the loot pool, and much more. Before we get into it though, be sure to drop a like if the video helps you out, and consider subscribing as well if you want to see more content just like this in the future. As you know, I'm going to be grinding out tons of tips and tricks content this chapter and you won't want to miss out. And finally, if you would like to help your boy out a bit extra, then consider using code Teco in the item shop. It's completely free and it really does help me out a bunch. But with that said and without further ado, let's get into today's video. So to start off this video, I want to talk about learning the map. With chapter 3 just recently releasing, the most crucial thing to do in the first few weeks is going to be to learn all the changes, starting with the most visible change, which is the new map. So you can take a few approaches to learning the new map. You can simply drop at every location sporadically, you can head into a battle lab and analyze them all, or you can choose a few different spots at a time to focus on. And what I recommend doing for the new chapter in order to learn the new map as fast as possible is to basically choose a few different drop spots at a time to focus on. Basically, what you're going to want to do is select three to four spots each time. For example, I'll choose Camp Cuddle, The Daily Bugle, and Condo Canyon to start. Bonus points if you can actually make these spots far away from one another, that way you get to learn each area of the map. And from there, you can basically choose any of your selected spots whenever you hop into a game, and once you get tired of landing at those three to four spots, you can choose another few spots, rinse and repeat, basically until you filled out the whole map. The reason I like this particular strategy as opposed to simply hopping in and landing randomly is because it really allows you to focus in on learning new locations, and the idea of targeting a few spots allows you to really get familiar with those spots without having to learn too much at once. Of course, you always have the option to choose a random spot once in a while to mix things up, but learning three or four spots at a time as opposed to randomly doing the entire map will make it really easy to get familiar with all sorts of spots and eventually choose your top ranking landing spot. Also, keep in mind guys that this map is absolutely packed with unnamed locations right now. The map only has 12 big time name POIs, but unnamed locations are scattered all around the map and are going to be super important when it comes to competitive. So if you're a competitive player or someone who's just trying to learn every single bit of the map, then don't forget to try out the unnamed POIs as well. As well as that guys, when it comes to learning the new map, another incredible tool that I want to bring up is Fortnite.gg. I'm sure most of you guys know Fortnite.gg if you watched my channel for a while, but this website literally has every single bit of information about the map. It features every single chest spawn, floor loot, ammo crate, car, campfire, slurp barrel, and much more. If you're watching this video in the first few days of chapter 3, it might not be fully functional yet since they've obviously got to find everything, but once it is fully up, this website is going to be an amazing tool for learning the new map and finding drop spots and such. Obviously, this video isn't sponsored by them or anything, it's just a really good website to use if you're looking for a drop spot. So once again, if you want to check out the website, the link is just fortnite.gg. Next up, guys, I want to talk about the best ways to actually learn and improve in this new meta. So obviously a lot has changed in terms of the meta with the loot pool, rotations, and all that sort of stuff. And as you know, Fortnite Competitive is basically just a massive competition for who can take advantage of the meta most effectively. So for the early days of the season, guys, everyone's going to be rushing to master all the new items and better understand the meta we'll be working with for the foreseeable future. So with that said, my first tip for mastering the new meta is going to be to basically, well, use the new stuff. I know it's a really simple tip, but this is something I see far too many players messing up on whenever there's a new season or chapter. There will be a ton of new stuff to learn, but they're basically just going to resort to the items they already know. Then once the new items become a meta, or once they're forced to use them, they're pretty much going to freeze up and don't know what to do. I know that pretty much every weapon is new at this point, but a lot of them are really similar to old weapons where you pretty much already know how to use them. So what I'm saying is to basically emphasize those weapons that you struggle with or simply don't understand, that way you can adapt and get used to them before other people can. Just as a quick example, the striker pump shotgun they added this season is really close to the original pump from chapters 1 and 2. So obviously most most of us aren't going to have a problem learning that. But on the other hand, the auto shotgun is pretty unique and most people are really going to struggle with it at first. But with some practice, it's actually a really solid weapon that's worth learning, so that's the one you're probably going to want to try and figure out first in terms of shotguns. It's a similar idea for the sliding mechanic as well. Obviously, it's a brand new mechanic and personally, I'm still learning it myself, but based on what I have seen so far, it does seem insanely promising for rotations and potentially even for box fights, so be sure to give that a shot. So as simple as this tip sounds, simply using the new weapons, items, and mechanics, specifically the ones you're struggling with, is a fantastic way to learn the new meta. Second up, my next recommendation to learn the meta fast is going to be to watch as much content relating to the new season as possible. This can be stuff like pro players twitch streams, highlight videos, high kill wins, or even specific tips and tricks videos like the ones I post on my channel. There's going to be quite a bit to learn, and watching these sorts of things can really give you an edge in learning the newest tips and strategies that you probably wouldn't find from simply playing the game yourself. The biggest thing I recommend is that whenever you do watch something to learn the new meta, you really want to focus on 
watching it with intent. So instead of just sitting back with a bag of chips and watching a pro stream while also browsing TikTok and playing Minecraft on your other monitor, really watch that pro stream with the intent of learning. I'm sorry to whoever I just called out right there. I know there's somebody watching who probably fits that exact description. But in all seriousness, you want to take note of unique things that they do and try to implement their actions into your own gameplay. The same idea goes for tips and tricks videos as well. Instead of just watching for the sake of watching, focus on actually listening to the tips and figuring out how you can implement them into your own practice. Moving on to my next tip to master the meta though, and that's going to be a classic Teco Fortnite tip, which is VOD reviewing. If you thought that you'd get through one of my videos without me telling you to VOD review, you're sadly mistaken. I'm telling you guys though, some of you still don't believe me, but VOD reviewing is such a massive cheat code when it comes to improvement. By simply hopping into replay mode and re-watching your games, you can find all sorts of mistakes you've made, learn new fighting strategies, and learn how to counter various techniques and strategies your opponents might use. As well as that, VOD reviewing helps even more with a new meta since it really allows you to figure out what works and what doesn't work in various situations. So if you're not VOD reviewing already, definitely get started. And if you do need some help when it comes to VOD reviewing, I actually do have a full guide on how to VOD review properly. It's a bit older and I'll probably make an updated version of it soon, but everything I do discuss in it is still relevant, so I'll go ahead and link it on screen if if you want to check it out after this video. Finally guys, the last thing I want to talk about in today's video is the best way to use creative in order to improve in chapter 3. Now obviously when it comes to learning the new meta, you're definitely going to want to focus mostly on playing real games, especially arena, scrims, and things of that nature, but creative is still a really important consideration when you're trying to improve at the game. When it comes to creative, I don't recommend you actually change your approach all that much from recent seasons. It's still great to warm up in creative, maybe do some zone wars and realistic 1v1s to practice a bit of fighting, and maybe even some peace control and a maps and such to improve your mechanics and all that kind of stuff. Even though it's a new chapter and a whole new meta, these practice methods are still great, but it's all about balancing your creative and real game practice. That balance is different for everyone. Some of you may do something like 20% creative and 80% real games, others might do more or less of each, but the main idea is just to keep a balance to it. As time goes on, especially with all the updates that are being made to creative, chances are we're going to see even more awesome practice maps, and of course I'll be sure to cover those in future videos. The one major tip that I do have for creative practice right now is to make sure that you're practicing with the new weapons and items as much as possible. Pretty much the entire loot pool is completely revamped, so there's no point in doing 1v1s with the original pump shotgun or a classic AR like we usually would. Basically, just make sure that all the weapons and items are updated to the new season in your maps, and to use maps that involve them as well whenever possible. That way, you're going to be able to specify your practice as much as possible to the real game, and that'll also help you improve a bunch. But with all that said, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this video on how to improve in Fortnite Chapter 3. Whether you're watching this video during the first week of the chapter or later on, on down the line. Hopefully this video gave you some useful tips that'll help you step up your game faster than ever before. If this video did help you out, then be sure to drop a like on it and consider subscribing as well if you want to see even more tips and tricks content just like this in the future. And finally, if you'd like to show some extra support, then consider using code TECHO in the item shop as it's 100% free and it really does help me out a bunch. With all that said though, thank you all for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.